course. Thanks, Marno. Okay, uh, guys, welcome to Agent to Agent Referral. This is power session number nine. Uh, oh, and Nigel just jumped on the call. Good morning, Nigel. Morning, Manu. How's it? I'm good, and you? Lucky man, thank you. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, guys, so let's jump right into this session. I'm not going to take the entire two hours of you guys. It's Monday. We need to start cracking. We need to start moving. You all know who I am. Um, please excuse me if my connection goes up and down, up and down. We've got some load shedding here. I'm running on a small generator. If I'm interrupted or I'm stuck, please just bear with me or let me know um, so I can go back. I don't want to miss anything about this. So what we're going to discuss today, introductions, the untapped resource, getting started, prospecting and marketing, focus over time, final notes, and then always putting it together. Um, start here i did the introductions we all know the ground groups by now like rollo said please interact with me this is agent to agent referrals we're all agents here let's uh, sorry nigel i'm just gonna mute you please unmute yourself if you want to talk to me i just have a bit of a back there we go all right um please interact with me we're agents here we're talking about agents and agents today um please feel free to interrupt me have fun everybody's opinion is important on this call because we're all agents and we all need to learn from each other so sometimes i'm saying something and i'm overlooking something else that's happening in your area that i'm not aware of so please let's interact let's chat about it let's see how we can help each other okay so on the lead generation today i want to skip to a few places oh, just to where's that pillar just give me a second but ah, here we are, here we are. I'm going back, I'm going back. Sorry, sorry. Hey. Why are you here? We're all knowing 36123 is all about lead generation. I said this in my previous session as well. Agent referral. Look, it's a pillar. It's holding the roof up. It's one of the five most important things. All of our lead generations are important, but I think this is one of the most overlooked lead gens that we are doing. Um, we're all sometimes in our own mind space. I need to do this by myself. I need to do this by myself. Lead generation, agent to agent referral is a, un, it's a, it's a good source. It's a good way of just extra income, extra. We're going to go through all of that, how it can assist you to grow your business. Let me go back to where we started. Um, is there anybody that would like to share any ahas from previous sessions, something that you've learned that you would like to share with everybody, something that happened, you got a big moment and said, oh, I never did this, and now I'm doing it because I've learned this in lead generation. Is there any ahas, anybody that wants to talk about anything they've learned in this past month? Hi, Manu. Yes, morning. morning uh, um, we worked a few for sale by owners that we picked up on Facebook and awesome. landed an extra three mandates uh, because that session just made us aware again of how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Yes, that's an important one. Anybody else? Okay, let me just say, right, let's go through this point. Why are you here today? Learn how to tap into one of the most overlooked source of leads, other real estate agents. Discover ways to ensure top of mind status with other agents. Discuss tools you can use to screen and qualify other agents for referrals. We'll go to all of this in a bit more details. Cover a variety of ways to prospect and market to other agents. Uh, I just showed you this while you hear that pillar it's holding everything together now mary carter i'm not going to read is anybody following the man of the the script the, the literal script paper is everybody does anybody have one in front of them louis okay you're following the script 
please read on page. Uh, sorry, this thing is not interfering. Where is it? It's on page six. I'm going to read it to you. Now, this lady is one of the most active referral agents in America. I'm not going to read everything to you, but just this one paragraph. Please go to the manual and read this entire story about this lady. Mary Carter is the queen of agent referrals, and I always used to look at her and say, what an awesome thing. We should do that. We should market to agents, but we never did. I was doing over $1 million in GCI. It was very close to home, and it was very easy. Okay. Uh, she just goes on to tell the story. She went to dinner with one of her clients. Over the past five years, he's given her about five sales. And he says he's busy with a new project in another town. It's not her farming area. And he's just not happy with the agent working. She, he is working with at this stage. And then she got this brainstorm that said, this guy is actually asking me to help him. And she says, okay, where's your product? Tell me more about your product. She went back, did some homework, came back to the guy and said, this is the best agent I can refer to you to help you with this project. That project went on. Mary got all her referral commission. And just by referring someone, having dinner with them, listening to what they want and sending them the correct agent. What will make this a great training experience? Manda was on here, but I see she don't. She jumped off now. Manda is one of the best referral agents in Taylor Williams. Perfect at this stage. I think now for the past year, maybe two. And we've had a lot of discussions. Manda has referred a bunch of stuff to me as well. And I wish she was actually here now, so she can tell me what does she want from this session. I mean, is anybody expecting something today to get out of the session? That I can make a note of to make sure I can give it to you. Okay, well, let me, we're gonna go into lead, oh, lead generation. How to use agents for your business, how to connect with them, how to use an agent in a different area to make your profit bigger, how, how easy it is to refer or to refer receive a referral so if you think of anything that would make the session great please stop me let me make a note so i can make sure um, i'm giving you all the information all right <clears throat> first paragraph an untapped resource let's read this an untapped resource agent to agent referrals are referrals as a source of leads are often overlooked only four percent of buyers and 4% of sellers found their real estate agent by referral from another agent. 4%, guys. If you look at that graph there, um, most people receive an agent through, number one, 38%, referred by a friend, a neighbor, or a relative. That means someone said, I'm going to sell my property, and the neighbor or the friend said, oh, use this agent because they've done a good job with me. They referred you. Okay. Used agent previously to buy or sell a home. That's 22%. And all the other stuff, web reference, personal contacts, uh, property 24, newsletters, advertising, all of this 5, 4, 3%, 2%, 1%. 1%. That's bad. That's, that's, that's actually shocking to see that only... The biggest 50% is use the agent previously and referred by a friend or a neighbor. Why can't you be referred by another agent? What's, what, are, what are we missing there? Okay, uh, Doris Garland, I'm not going to read. Also in the book, in the manual, it's on page 10. Um, okay, let me just read something I've underlined here. Never forget to ask if they need help with a purchase of their next home. So, how many of you do this? I've got a purchaser that's looking at this house to buy. But what are you forgetting is most of these people, 80%, 70%, 
needs to sell a property as well. Why not be the agent that controls both sales? Tell them, I'll refer you to someone in Midrand or Centurion or Cape Town that can sell your property. There, easy money. You've made money on two transactions. And I don't hesitate to inquire if you can refer them to another agent if they are going to, to be buying out of your area, what I just said. Please also go read what this lady is talking about. She's always saying, I'm getting a buyer, I'm getting a seller. But a buyer is a seller and a seller is a buyer. So please remember that. Don't leave money on the table. Refer to someone that you know. Ask her, ask the person, the seller, the buyer, can I assist you with either a buyer or a seller? Always ask if the seller needs help with the purchase of the next home. Ask if you can refer them if buying out of your area. Exercise. Estimate your answer now and follow up with an actual number once you are able to analyze your database. Okay. Let's read this. How many real estate agents are in your database? Uh, I'm going to pick just on someone here. Louis. Everybody on Keller Williams Pivot. Do you have it on your database? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also like that. I forgot. That is. <laughs> yes, that's it. I forgot to put them on. You see, <laughs> I've so got other agents in Valcom. I've got a lot of agents in Valcom and from Freiburg on my database. Okay, but is that that's your farming area? That's the area yes. you're working on? Yes, yes. Okay. So, exercise for today. When you're finished today and you have an hour, add everybody in Keller Williams Pivot on your database, on your contacts. Make a note. Marnu works in Harpersburg Dam, Northwest. Christelle. Andre is in the fall. Make a note of where all these agents are and make sure they know where you are working. If I go onto my database and I have a client in Cape Town, I need to go search for an agent, but I don't know Cape Town that well. So if I have an agent from Keller Williams, not even perfect, but Keller Williams, I can just go on my notes and say, oh, this is an active agent. So write this number down and see how you can do it better. How many real estate agents are in your database? How many of them do you touch on a regular basis? That's what I just said. Do they know your eye area? Send out a uh, email campaign uh, that says, did you know I work for Keller Williams Perfect? We're both Keller Williams agents, but I'm here in Hartis if you need someone. What percentage of your business comes from agent referrals? We'll go into more details on that, but also write a number down that says you do two sales a month. Why can't you make it two sales plus two sales because two, two two other sales are referrals either you receive them or you gave a referral that's easy money in your pocket and instead of two transaction it's adding an agent to refer to now you've got four transactions something to think about write it down okay, okay. giving and receiving all right to you to another agent let's it's a circle we'll go around it Referral from another agent always, <coughs> sorry, agent almost always a hot lead. So when someone calls you and said, I have a buyer looking to buy in your area, that is a hot person because they've already spoken to an agent and they're ready to buy. So why not work with that hot lead? That is definitely a sale. You must just work it. Takes less time than called prospecting, cold calling. If you can get agents to send you clients, you don't have to sit on the phone and do cold calling. I pay little effort. Look at the guy that sent you the referral did most of the work. You must just find the house to sell or to buy. So like that lady said, it's don't leave money on the table. It's hot. They're looking around work that lead it's easy money 
Okay, the pros of receiving referrals. You receive a ready customer. You don't have to convince this person to buy. They already are looking to buy. You earn 70 to 85% commission. I um, think that's more in America that they change the numbers. Here we work on 20% uh, referral, 80%. But I mean, you can discuss it with the referral agent. You can always make your own. Um, customer becomes a mate. And you have to have the opportunity to win all of the customers, repeat and referrals and business. Agent may continue to refer to you if all parties are satisfied. If you do a good job, that referring agent will use you again. Uh, did I go to that one now? Yes. So the cons of receiving a referral. You pay referral commission of 15, 30%, 20%. 20% is better than nothing. Always keep that in mind. Zero is nothing. 20% is something. So the cons and the pros, you can see the pros overlap the cons. There's one negative. So the responsibility of receiving and accepting a referral. I want to tell you a quick story. Uh, if you all should know now, if you do a referral, you can capture it on my edge and it sends an email to that other agent that says you just got a re referral guys call that agent and say hello i am marnu i just sent you a referral this lady is looking to buy in um, polacuane or whatever i refer her to you i see you're the active agent what happened to me once is i received an email oh you've got a referral looked at the email flagged it went on a week later i came back to that flagged email and said oh i've got a referral i never phoned this guy Phoned the guy said, hi, are you looking to buy an Hartis? Yes, but I already bought. Thank you very much. I just lost a sale because the agent that referred that client to me never just made contact and talked to me. So re responsibility of receiving is if you are the person that's sending the referral, we'll get to that now. Follow up, call that person and tell them the story. Don't just send an email. People get busy. If you accept a referral, you must respond to the customer immediately. Love to work with buyers. Buyers are money. If you're a real estate agent, you should love to work with buyers. <laughs> Want to provide solu um, solutions along with an awesome experience. Be committed and be capable of working with the referral customer. Know the city and the resource, such as doctors, auto services, and restaurants. Okay. You can say no to a listing, guys. If someone refers a buyer to me that lives in Rustenburg, people think Harpiesburg, Brits, and Rustenburg are next to each other. Rustenburg is two hour drive away from me. I would rather say, I'm sorry, referral agent. I can't work this guy. I don't know anything in that farming area. I, I, I don't have the knowledge there. But let me help you with an agent that I know works Rustenburg and will refer him to there. So rather send it on a way than not giving the client the proper, proper service that they need. Oh, here we go on. No builders and your new home loans. No, your farming area. That's all it's all about. So when you receive a referral, you know how to work with these people. Be patient and flexible. Stay current in your market. Educate the buyers about the local price. Communicate with the referring agent regularly and always pay the referral fee. I mean, number 10, communicate with the referring agent on a regular basis and always pay the referral fee. That's self-explanatory. You can't not pay the service fee. I mean, I'm not going to go into the after referral fee. I'm not going to go into that. But keep contact with these people. Manda once told me, okay, but Marnu, we're all grown-ups. They're supposed to do their work. We've all got our own buyers and sellers. If you receive the referral, that is your client. You must make sure that they are receiving the service that you would have given them. You're giving them to another agent now. 
So make sure they're getting the experience. Follow up on a regular basis. Okay, so pros and cons of giving a referral. You receive 20% referral fee from, a, from minimum work. Sending an email and making one phone call to another agent and telling them, please help this person buy a property. That was your effort and following up. But for that, you get 20%. You can sit back and go on with the rest of your work. That is so easy. You choose the agent. So it needs to be someone that matches with you. The, the, this is the agent you uh, uh, picked to work with your customers. Your customer is served by a well-qualified and well-matched agent. Agent may <laughs> my pronunciation reprogate and refer to you again. Just they will send referrals to you again if you send referrals to them. Okay, the cons you may lose customers repeat and referral business to other agent. But if that agent is moving, oh, that customer is moving to another town, it means that referral agent that you gave to might come back to you as well. So someone moved out of your city now, you've lost that client to another city, but you've gained an agent that can assist in your city as well. Please bear with me. Is everybody understanding? Am I going too fast? Thumbs up. Everybody still alive out there? Thank you. Andre is there. Ashwin, yes, Crystal, thank you. You want to ask me something, Ashwin? Or are you just giving me a thumbs up? Okay, thumbs up, there is. <laughs> cool. All right, thanks. Uh, responsibility of giving referrals. Yes. Okay. Guys, if you want to say something, don't even need to raise your hand. Just jump in, jump in, please. Responsibility of giving referrals. Thoroughly interview customer to understand their needs. You can't send a client to another agent and say, I, I think this guy is looking for a three bedroom. Maybe you, can you maybe help him, please? Thank you. Goodbye. Ne get the details. This guy is looking for a luxury property of five million or next to the dam, next to the river, next to the mountain, golf estate, uh, a retirement village. Do your interview with your customer that you're going to refer and get the details before you send it to that agent. Also, thoroughly interview the agent and find the perfect match for the customer. Uh, they will say it later in the book as well. If you're not sure, I am easily, I call Keller Williams Prime, talk to the team leader, say, I've got the, this customer that I've interviewed. Their needs are this and this and this and this. Can you please give me the agent that will work with them in a retirement home or a golf estate? Not just a random agent, someone that knows what my customer is looking for. <laughs> Communicate level of service expected. I have been working with this customer for five years. I expect you to do this and do this and help him with this. This is how I work. Please make sure that I work. Four and five. Highlight. Highlight. Follow up with customer. Hi, sir. I referred you to Ashwin. He said he will assist you with this golf estate. Did he make contact with you? Are you happy? Are you guys, did you guys get an appointment? Yes? No? Okay, cool. Ashwin is not doing the job. I'm giving it to someone else. Sorry, Ashwin. I'm just picking on you, just looking at names. <laughs> but Follow up with the customer. Did, the, did they phone you? Are you happy? Yes, yes, yes. Follow up with the agent. Agent, did you follow up with my guy? Are you meeting? Did you have a house for him? Can you work this client? If you can't work this client, be honest. I'll find another. There's a lot of agents out there. Okay. A win-win relationship. Having agents in your database means... <coughs> Sorry, guys, just give me a second. <coughs> Sorry, okay. Having agents on your database means valuable, lifelong relationships. Colleagues with whom you can discuss ideas, challenges, etc. 
I want to also share a story with you. Previous company that I worked for, um, it was in my second year of being an agent. I worked in Waverly, the Moot area in Pretoria. That's a specific area. You give specific people that wants to buy there. Um, I met this lady, Barbara. She worked with me. She trained me a little bit. She, you know, she taught me the ropes in Waverly. We've built such an awesome relationship. I know there's Kilo Williams agents in that area, but me and Barbara had such a good, good lifelong relationship that we've built now. I'll send her referral, a referral to her. No problem. She's the first person I will think of because I know my client will be serviced. I know the level of service she brings to her board. So she's not, she's with another company. Yes, but she's one of my database agents. So Waverly, I've got covered. I know I've got this lady. She will always assist me. She will always help me. Reap the rewards. All right. Your commission on accepting a, 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 a referral, 70%, 80%. How easy is that? Effort for giving a referral, 20%. There's no effort. You just need to give Follow up with the client, follow up with the customer, do your background check, the background story, what the customer is looking at. That's not a lot of effort. And then just following up, follow up. More reasons to tap in. Real estate agents are plentiful. There are a lot of real estate agents. Agents get it. They, all, they already understand the benefits of referring. If you call an agent from Pam Golding and you say, listen, I've got a referral for you. No one in my company can assist me. Can you help me? And this agent says, uh, what's a referral? Move on. Or if you're an agent, you know all about agent referrals. You, you know the 20% split. You know the 80% split. Agents already know what a referral is about. Provide additional reasons for attending events. I'm going to go into more details on that. Let's skip it for now. Opportunity to build relationship with agents around the country, around the province. So I know all the agents and artists. Brits, it's just be outside here. I know all the agents in Brits. I'm working on Pretoria. You can't know everybody in South Africa, but know the top agents even from other companies but your top agents in your province if you get a lead in uh you work centurion and you get a lead in medran know who's the top agents in medran so you can call them and that's a relationship uh can you think of any more is there anybody that can give me more reasons it's a relationship it's a it's a it's a running running a relationship by having agents that you can refer to and will refer to you uh okay let's getting this started mindset <laughs> that's funny mindset and mind share other agents are assets to your business not competitors be memorable a job achieve top of the mind status with other agents Okay. Um, two quick things from my side. You go, I all know Keller Williams. You can list and sell and work any area that you want to. It took me a good two years to come to this mindset. There's another agent from Keller Williams Select that just listed a property in Hartis. Then I call Rolo and I said, this guy is interfering in my area. Why is this guy not referring business to me? Why is he listing here? You know, it, it's, it's not working for me. And he would always say, Marnu, but now you've got a new listing. You've got the sellers work the listing. So guys, if someone else from our other Keller Williams lists something in your area, Call that agent and say, hi, I see you've listed something in Hartis. I'm the Hartis agent here. What is the price? What is the commission? May I help you sell this property? 
there you've just made contact with another agent that didn't even know you were working this area. If you sell that house, that agent will rather, uh, instead of driving all the way from Santon, give you the referral, easy money, and she sees, he sees you are working that, that houses. Call that agent and say, introduce yourself, tell them the entire story. You are the farming area specialist in artists in this area. I will work it for you. Just like that, you've made you've got an agent-agent relationship. And be memorable. Um, be, be a, <laughs> I don't want to say be a good person, but be a good person. I also had this lady working with me in Pretoria. Years later, she gives me a call and says, Marno, I've got a house that I want to sell in your area. Please, can you assist me? I have no idea who this lady is, but she remembered me because I made an impression. Uh, my mindset was correct. She knew I would work this house. I still don't know who that lady is, but the house registered a year back. And I got a referral out of it, and she got her referral money. So, um, cool. Let's look at this exercise. What makes you different and or unique from all the other agents competing for agent to agent referrals? What I just said, be memorable. That lady from Property Fox, I was memorable for some reason. She phoned me out of, I think we're now 100, 120 agents in Hartis. She could have picked all of them, but she picked me. What I used to, what I said on my farming training as well, what's your secret sauce? What's your X factor? Why will the agent call you instead of the Remax or the Pam Golding or the Jazz Everett? You have to be the, the agent. Why? What, what will make you that agent? Here's an opportunity for you to um, the, 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 the reference yourself from other agents. Fill in the blanks about what makes you unique and be prepared to share with the class. Anybody that wants to tell me why they are unique, why should I phone you to give you a referral? Anything, give me. I have a nice smile. Anybody, just give me one, one thing that you think makes you unique, that makes you stand out from all the other agents, why I must give you my referral. I'm hungry for a sale. Ah, I need the money. <laughs> I need the money. <laughs> okay, but at least we know Louis is hungry. He's going to work that client because he needs the money. That, that's an awesome point. That's a great example. He is a guy that's going to work this client because he needs that money. He needs that sale. Louis, I'm going to send you someone that wants to buy a farm. I'm telling you now. Look at it. Just watch the space. Watch the space. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Screen and qualify. Identify what makes other agents top of mind with you. Make sure customers comes first with them. Prepare qualification. Uh, prepare questions to ask this agent. Hi, are you working? What are are you working? Luxuries? Are you working farm? Do you do commercial? Do you do rentals? Oh no, I'm sorry. My client is looking for residential between 1.2 and 1.5. Make sure you and this, this referral agent can communicate. Um, I know, I know, I know. A lot of agents have a chip on their shoulder. We've got a huge Remax. Crystal, you can back me up. In Artis. Now, they've been here since the beginning of Artis Poor Dam. They are about 20, 25 agents. I will work with only one of them. There's one lady in that Remax office that I will work with. Even if it's another agent from Remax that has a sole mandate, I will give that lady a call and say, I've got a client with you. Because we've got the same mindset. We've had a conversation. We can communicate nicely. The other agents have this chip on their shoulders. There's a Pam Golding lady. If you have, if she has a sole mandate and you bring a buyer, you get 20%. Not a 50-50 split because she's, got, she's so arrogant. So I don't even call her. I don't even work with that lady. Find in every in your farming every area rawson chas everett all of them find one agent that you connect with that you can work with and work with that agent if you have a sole mandate that agent will come to you as well and can talk to you openly and say let's do this 50 50 split are you happy 
let's go. Great. But make sure you have someone that you can work with in every office. It's not easy. Like I said, we've got a bunch of arrogant agents in this town of mine. But I've got one and I can work with her. Uh, example for questions you can ask. What do you love about what you do? If someone tells you, oh, no, I just like the people, but I don't need the money. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Which do you like better, listing homes or helping buyers? How long have you been in this business? What is your area of expertise? Commercial, rental? I know. I don't do rentals. I don't do commercial. I've got two people on my database that does both. I will just refer it to them because I can't work there. Uh, what is your geographic area do you serve? What, what farming area? You're involved here in my town as well, but do you only do the left or do you only do the right? Where are you working from? Uh, sorry, I just had a note here. Oh, I did tell you. Yes, so make contact with these agents and just have a chat with them and find out if you can work with them. Are they in your area? If you both have sale mandates, you can work together. Uh, okay, let's try this exercise. What important qualities do you look for in an agent to who you would like to give referrals to? The choice of the right agent for you and the customer is an important one. So I'm going to use Remax again. We've got this very nasty lady. So she's all over the place. I will never refer anything to her. I've chatted to her. We've had a good conversation. We just can't communicate. I can't send a client to her. She will just, I don't even know if she will work the client. Yeah, maybe she'll get the sale through, but there's no, there's no connection there. Okay. Um, so yeah, just qualify the agent for you. You know what you like and what service you provide. In the manual page 19, circle three questions you think are the most important to ask or add any questions you think is are important to ask. If you refer someone in the fall down, uh, we always joke about it. Andre, I'm sending you one client from this dam to another dam. Um, we know we can both talk the dam story, fishing, everything like that. Uh, it's important to know the agent. Don't just refer people to any agent any agent and don't know if they're going to get the service. Uh, we just went through that. So Mary Carter has another story. Please go to read this in the manual. It's actually awesome. She, her parents moved to a different town. She didn't know the town, everybody in the area. She called the team leader from that killer Williams and said, my father is a difficult guy. He wants this and this and this and Please refer him to the correct agent. That agent called back Mary and said, I, I heard your father is looking for this. Let me help him. She did such an amazing job with Mary's father and mother that that lady is now part of the family because she did such a fantastic job. She listened to what Mary was looking for. She knew her father is a difficult guy. She checked all the boxes. And now Mary and that lady is like sisters and they refer people to one another and uh yeah please go read that story it's a it's a quite a long story but just for motivation just just to see what you can do call the team leaders uh like i said i call easily uh killer williams team leader and say i'm looking for this and this and this i sent two referrals last week to uh kelly williams Citus, uh and i asked them which agent is working that and this and this and this and this uh let's moving over Okay, know when to refer. When the customer has a buy and a sell and one of the transactions is out of town. Like I said, be control of both sales. One person is buying in Hartis, but they need to sell in Pretoria North. Be the agent that control both. Ah, yes, you're going to buy here. Cool, let me refer your agent that can sell your property in Pretoria North. Easy money. When the customer wants to buy or sell outside of your geographic area and you could be better handled by an agent from that area. I will not, like I said, Rustenburg. If they are selling there, oh no, let's say they are buying there. 
but they are selling here. I'm going to sell the property in Hartis. But the area that they are buying in, I've got no knowledge of. Rather refer it instead of losing the customer or giving them bad service. Refer it to an agent you know. We've gone through the process. What agent will work with them there? And you're in control of both properties again, and you get your referral commission. When an agent refers to you and you are not the right fit for the customer. Like I said, um, who sent me? Manda sent me a farm listing. It's a huge farm. I'm now this year I'm getting started with knowing farms, learning about farms. But farms aren't the easy thing to sell. Uh, so same as commercial. So say to the referral, I don't have the knowledge of commercial properties. Let me refer you to Sonia. Sonia is the master of commercial properties in Keller Williams. Perfect. I know she's got the knowledge. I'm not going to go and take this referral and go, um, 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 I don't know. Um, uh, just give it to the right person and you'll still receive from that person back again. Guys, don't take referrals. If you can't handle it, make the right decision. Uh, fee. Huh. Negotiation on your referring fee. Negotiate your referral fee up front. Call this agent and say, hello, I've got a, this and this and a referral. Uh, what's your referral fee? 20%? Yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Same factors that affect the rates. Market conditions, price range, number of referrals previously received from the same agent, potential work time involvement. So this next line, both parties complete referral form before meeting the customer. Again. Okay. Both parties complete referral form before meeting the customer. Complete your referral form. Don't lose these customers. You get agents out there that's not honest. Unfortunately, we live in that world that we're living in. <laughs> it's true. Get the referral paper done and sign and say, thank you. Now I will send you the contact details. Now that we've got an uh, agreement on paper, this is the referral commission. Just look out for yourself, guys. Just get it on paper okay um okay let's push through a little bit more before we take a few a uh, little break prospecting the market love this myth love myths love truths okay i don't need to actively prospect or market to real estate agents hmm. the truth is you must regularly add to the contacts the agent in your database to re-app the rewards of referrals. Be constant. Sorry for the guys that's on my campaigns that I'm sending emails to. If you don't like it, just de-register or what do you have that little button. But I always send emails to most of the pivot people, most of the people that I know out of my area, just reminding them I'm on show in Hartis, I'm the Hartis agent. It doesn't take that much time but you have to be constant you have to let the people know i am the artist agent it's not difficult putting an ad on facebook everybody sees you on facebook and they artists i'm working artists guys but just be constant prospect uh, cultivate your agent farm pick another market and dominate it you guys were with me with the farming area everybody knows how many times in this training that i say rps poor bad if you don't know, I'm working in RPS Port Dam now. I don't know. I can't do any more than that. Pick a narrow market. Pick your farming area. Dominate it. That's a quote from Gary Keller himself. Agents are just another type of form. Think about it a bit. The other agents in your area is just another type of farming. If I have a buyer, I don't have houses in that price range. I've got 10 agents that I can phone that I've got communications and uh, relationship with and ask them, do you have that type of property? Prospect and market to them to cultivate relationships. Keep your relationship with other agents active. I'm talking about your farming, your geographic area. All the agents in your area should know you and you should know them. Not out of your farming area, That's, that gets difficult. But I try to know the, the, the cities around me, the active agent that's working there. 
attending events takes time away from business. Actually, it's smart business because you have the opportunity to enhance relationship and increase referrals. Now, I don't know if I should tell a drinking beer story on this training, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Go to events, guys, and market yourself. I've always got my name badge on Keller Williams, Buffett, MM Realtors. I just went to the local watering hall on a Friday. I usually walk in and I greet everybody and I've got my name badge on. This person came to me and said, oh, I was looking for a Keller William agent in Hartis. We are here on a weekend and would like to see houses. Sorry about my friend. We went out to drink a beer, but I'll make it up to him. But me and this guy had a great conversation and he saw me just having my Keller Williams badge on. So you don't have to go to events and pay money and run omidam or the uh, 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 the comrades that's coming up or have something there you can just be around people meet people don't go talk to the people that you already know we'll get to that on a later stage as well meet different people but be seen prospecting meet them at events okay attend events with a purpose volunteer for visible potential at events collect info on as many agents as possible. Cost of attendings could be recouped from referrals. So yeah, if you spend money on going to an event, if you receive referrals back from it, it makes <clears throat> sorry, it makes up for that. Make a positive impression with everybody. God, just make sure everybody sees you, be friendly, be open, and collect as much info as possible. Yes, Ashwin? Hi, my name. Sorry to. No, please. I can um, have a sip of water. Thank you so much. <laughs> look, uh, I've got a, a referral came through from Hans Mearing, and I'm working a property for him in the PMB area because I have relationship in that area. Uh, so the topic is excellent for me, and the reason I the reason I stopped today is because I need to run off to a client now. Okay. I've got a listing for twelve units, and uh, oh, thanks. Awesome. I'll catch up on the listing. No, cool. I'll send you the link. Yes. Thanks, Ashwin. Thanks a lot, man. Much cheers. appreciated. Thanks, man. Cheers, cheers. Um, make a positive impression with all of them. Uh, oh, okay. So, also, Mary, look, this lady is the referral queen in the USA. Okay. When she goes to an event, she, that's her lead generation. Going to an event and meeting people. But break away from the people you already know. Move around with your little name badge and say, Hello, I'm Marnu, I'm Mary, I work in Hartis. Did you know I work for Keller Williams? Where are you from? Where do you work? Meet some people. Yes, staying in your group is more comfortable, guys, but break that barrier. Lead generation. Meet people. Meet other agents. Walk to that Remax agent and say, Hello, I'm from Keller Williams. I know you're from Remax. Let's have a chat. Uh, like I said in my other training as well, all the agents in Keller Williams, USA, work, walk with this chip on their shoulders because, shoulders because they are the biggest company in USA. We are part of that company. We'll walk, walk with pride. We are Keller Williams. Go to the main agent in RealNet or the principal, whatever. Go introduce yourself. Have a little... Rebosh. Market after the event. Enter info you've collected into your database. I've met blah, blah, blah from Pam Golding. She works this area, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I can add her to a campaign. Stay in the power position of making contact first. Maintain systematic contacts with them. Consider using the 8x8 or the 33 touch. I am not, I don't use 8x8 that much, but the 33 touch is that um, Happy Mother's Day, Merry Christmas, uh, 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 all the school holidays, uh, all the holidays that comes up, that 12 direct. Send that out so they know who you are and they don't forget you. Uh, you can personalize a group. I've got a group on my contacts that says Keller Williams agents, other agents. And I know if I send out campaigns, I can share this with Keller Williams, or I can share this with the other agents, or to both. Group them. Make sure you've got their details. This lady worked, yeah, 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 and this and this, and she only does rentals. 
so you don't send the in, incorrect information to them, but you need to make contact with them first to let them know you are the guy that's making contact with them and they must remember you. Myth. People who know you don't have to be reminded you're in the real estate business. <coughs> People who know you and trust you are the most important group with whom to maintain regular contact. Yes, Nigel? Mona, I just wanted to know, do you use Edge exclusively or do you also use Command? Um, so I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Nigel, I just work on Edge for now. Um, for me personally, jumping between so many systems just confuses you. That's why I use Facebook and YouTube. I don't do Instagram and TikTok and all these other things. So I, I'll, I'll probably get to command at a later stage, but I feel I'm still learning three years in Keller Williams and I'm still learning my edge. I'm, I, I don't think you can ever learn it 100%. So if you start with command, stick with command. Command's awesome. I've, I've looked at what the people are doing, but edge is working for me now and I don't want to use both of them. Okay. Can I answer your question? Is that fine? Yeah, it's just because I'm new, I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't just um, start with the thing because it seems to link with the Facebook and all yes. that. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Like yes, naturally. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, you obviously been around the block and you know, so that's why I'm asking. No, I would say then start with command because command is growing. Everybody is going to jump on command now. And because you're new and learning it now, um, Starting with my edge and then jumping to command will just confuse you. So start with command. I think that would be that would be the best for you, definitely. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. No worries. No worries. Uh, okay. I want to repeat this myth and truth again. People who know you don't have to be reminded you're in the real estate business. Yes, your mom and dad and your wife and your husband and your best friend, they all know. But the people around you need to needs to know in a regular uh, you need to make regular contact with them to remind them they're in real estate it happens and you guys know this you sit in a coffee shop and you say yes i'm thinking of selling my property the other person must immediately think of you oh i know this agent because last week monday you sent a email that said hello welcome to april remember we're selling we're on show here always be the agent on everybody's mind okay guys let me just check here i want us to take a bit of a break where are we now yeah okay let's go back uh will that be fine with you everybody just uh it's now nine o'clock ten minute break five minute break what do you guys want ten or five minutes Okay, we'll make it 10 minutes. <laughs> um, okay, we'll get back to this exercise. See you guys in 10 minutes time. I'll start talking um, 10 past and I'll check in with everybody with a thumbs up. Go get a water, get, get, a, get, a, get a coffee, go stretch your legs. We'll see you in a bit.
Oh, it looks like we lost a few people. Let's just give it some time for the people to come back again. Okay, uh, thumbs up, everybody back. We can finish this in a, in, a, in a bit, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I love this new thumbs up thing. Usually everybody gives me a thumbs up, but now I just get emojis. But it's fine. It's fine. We can work it through. <laughs> we can go with that as well. Uh, sorry, I also had to go off. Let me just open my stuff again here. Everybody can see my screen. Oh, come on. Go. All right. Uh, next one. Okay. Exercise. Think of five of your out of area meds you can contact about agent to agent referrals. Call one right now and see if anyone in his or her neighborhood might need an agent. Uh, everybody knows someone somewhere else. That's homework. Call someone you haven't spoken to, a Nachi or a Nyefi or uh, uh, a long lost friend or something and says, hi, I'm the agent here, but in Centurion, I've got agents working there. I know a bunch of people there. Can I refer someone to you? Do you know of someone? I mean, by now we should know our scripts that says, if you end a telephone conversation, you don't end it with goodbye. You end it with Oh, do you know someone that wants to buy or sell a property in your area? And now we've gone through, you have met an agent or you have made contact with an agent in Centurion or Midrand or Santon or Cape Town that you can send referrals to. Do this homework. After your session today, call the other four. Find an agent you might refer leads to. Report your findings during your weekly uh, accountability session. I don't know if everybody has an accountability partner, but if you have said this week, I've made contact with four agents and we become contacts. We know each other by now. I've got someone to refer business to. Prospecting and the marketing in the Keller Williams white pages. Okay. We in South Africa don't have the white pages, <coughs> but we have property 24 private property uh my edge uh, my drive um, the google drive all of the agents contact details that you need in keller williams perfect is on your drive it's been shared it's there you don't have to go on their facebook or to go look for them or whatever the keller williams white pages are all the keller williams agents in america is on that white pages but here we know how to find our people Property 24, if you're looking for an agent in Centurion, see that agent has 20 listings. It's active. That one is pending. That one is sold. I can see this person is working that area. There's the contact details. Make contact with them. So in the Skeller Williams white pages, we don't have it here, but you can go through Property 24 and see agents that are active in an area that you would like to send referrals to and make them know you. Make contact with them. Prospecting through recruiting. <laughs> so Rolo and now Devon as well will tell you all about this. By recruiting, you call. <clears throat> I, I work for Keller Williams, blah, 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 blah. You all know you got growth share from Keller Williams, right? Do you all know what growth share is? That all everybody attend that training. If you sign up an agent to work for Keller Williams, you get growth and profit share from that agent with every single sale that they do. I love it. I've recruited two agents and then Heather, once in a blue moon, sends me an invoice and says, oh, sends me an email and said, please send me an invoice for 
your referral of your, your, your growth share commission. If you are in a position that you like to recruit people, I'm not going to go into growth share that much, but if you recruit people and they don't join you, that's fine. You've met them. You've had a conversation with them. You are building a relationship with them. I've tried to recruit a bunch of people and I love having this conversation. I've recruited only two in the three years, but I've made a lot of contacts with other agents and some of them are good mates, good friends, good business people that I can talk to. So not everybody wants to join, but that can be part of your lead gen, getting to know agents or signing them to join Killer Williams. Exercise. Okay. You have talked about many examples of ways to prospect and market to other agents or for referrals. Can you think of three more ways you can accomplish this? Is there three? Give me three ways that I haven't told you guys yet that we can meet other agents. Go on, someone has to give me one reason that I haven't mentioned yet. Crystal, if you don't mind, there's something that you got that you do. You're part of a business thing. Can you tell people about that here in Artis? Yes, I'm part of Artis Business Center. It's a networking organization where there are quite a few other um, estate agents. Um, they're also members of the business center. So it's really nice meeting them there and building relationships with them. So that's another way of meeting other um, real estate agents. Awesome, awesome. Guys, sorry, my computer just went bonkers. Um, yes, so Christelle is part of this business center, and I know there's other agents there as well. So she's doing her thing, already being known in a, in a group, in a, a, a business where they can talk to other agents, where she can meet them, see if they match with her, where they can send referrals to each other. Jeez, guys, sorry, my computer just went haywire now. Sorry, sorry, guys. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, let while I'm trying to fix this, anybody else? Any other examples? Louis, hey, tell any Brian or people ask me. Yes, um, uh, I could uh, last week we give it MLS for father. Ah, I said, welcome. We could decry on net my horizon to forbear. Yes, 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 yes. I can glad the MLS. Nie. Uh, I haven't worked with MLS before because I don't work in an area where there is MLS stock. Uh, but that's a great example. That's a really good one. Uh, anybody else? Okay. My best, best, best way of meeting other agents is open houses. I invite people of agents that I haven't met before. I invite them to my open houses. It's just an hour having an open house is a sole exclusive mandate. Send them a like a picture and you are specially invited you to come and see my open house. And when they come there, they're in a place where they're comfortable. They can talk to you. You tell them all about your property, where you're from, what you're doing. That is an awesome way. That's the only way for me that I'm doing great in meeting other agents. Like I just told you, recruiting, I'm not good in that because uh, the people don't always want to come over. But open houses, the agents are curious. They want to see what you have. And they usually show up. And you can see, oh, I can work with this one or I can't work with this one. So that's a good example as well. So Christelle being part of a business group in your in your town, in your farming area, fantastic. Uh, MLS, that is a big, big one because I know all the agents come together to go see the same property and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. And then, yeah, open houses. Open houses are a good way, guys. Uh, focus over time. Let's say what they say about this myth. It costs too much to stay in touch with a large database of agents. It costs too much not to stay in touch with them guys, uh, your email campaigns, your 12 direct, you don't even know about it, but the system sends them out emails on 
Mother's Day, it's Father's Day, it's Human's Right Day. You know, it's your birthday. If you've captured a client on your database, they receive an email that says happy birthday. You forgot about it, but the system is doing the heavy lifting for you. So you don't have to spend money. It, it, it's going to cost you money not to keep in contact with these people. You need them to re regularly see you as the agent in that area. Maintain a relationship. Stay in touch <coughs> in touch constantly over time. The upfront cost of staying in touch is well worth it. Not staying in touch means loss of referral business. There you can see it for yourself. Compounded the, the growth in saving accounts, lead generation. Maintaining your agent relationship through constant lead generation will result in more transactions. Really think about this, guys. You sell two or three properties. No, no, let's go with two. You sell two properties a month. If you can receive one referral, leave those two properties, that's your own. You receive one referral and you send another referral a month, only a month, in 30 days. You receive and you send the referral, then you've got four sales a month. Two that you do by yourself, one that you're working 70% on, and a small one that you're only doing 20% of the work. That's, that's nothing. You're getting 20% referral. So you can do four transactions a month, two by yourself, one by sending a referral, one receiving a referral. Really think about it. How easy is that to do four transactions a month now? Because you're sending one, you're receiving one. Really, really, really think about it, guys. That's actually my final note. That is what I want you guys to take away from this session. We've spoken about all the ways that you can find referrals, work with referrals, getting agents to work your referrals. How Who's the best agent to work with me? Who's the best agent to send referrals to? How to meet them? Where's the groups? We've spoken about all of this, but I, what I want you to take away from this is two transactions plus two transactions. Two plus two, you're on four transactions a month. Lead generate agent to agent referrals. Take two hours a day and just make contact with agents and do referrals. And follow up guys i can't emphasize this more follow up with your referral that you gave to the agent call the agent follow up with the customer that you get the service that i have that we do what you wanted from me stop giving money on the table make connection with other agents part of your daily three hour lead generation 15 minutes to an half an hour making a call in your lead three hour habit lead generation that you guys are working on now and getting your routine up and going and doing what you need to do one agent a day make contact with them that's well that's actually putting it all together that that's basically what we spoke about today is how this can benefit your business why is agent to agent referral so important how can you make more money by using other agents to help you if you don't have a listing but the other agent has that listing they will refer it to you because they know you are the agent that will work it be the agent that the people want to refer to and make sure you have contact with people that you want to refer referrals to any us, anybody that wants to tell me that I get everything, that you get something out of the session, that I help you with something, do you have a better idea of how to, to do agent-to-agent -agent referrals? Thank you, Manu. Louis? I think I, I made a list of who I'm going to call after this. Uh, awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. As uh, if you make contact like that homework said with at least four people this week, you're halfway there. You can do it. That, that's yeah, fantastic. Thanks for, thanks for everything, Martin. It was awesome. great. Great. Thanks, guys. Anybody else that wants to share anything? Something that I've missed? Okay. Well, go out there. Go meet your agents in your area. Make contact with agents outside of your areas. Get referrals. Receive. Oh, receive, <laughs> receive referrals. Send referrals. Two extra sales a month. And if you can pick it up, two can turn into four and so for not a lot of work you can make 20 percent by just sending someone's details to another agent that you trust guys thank you so much for joining me today um donkey crystal guys go out there do your best and uh, yeah we'll talk again soon like a week for you. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Bye. 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 Bye.